Hi, I'm Laurie, and welcome to your super band total body workout. I've also heard these bands referred to as strength bands, pro bands, call them whatever you want, you're gonna need one. We need to make sure though the resistance is right around mine, so this workout will actually work for you. If it's too heavy, it will not work. So make sure that you can at least do 15 shoulder presses with these. If we can do 15 standing shoulder presses with it, that'll be good to go. Now, if it's too light, if it doesn't feel challenging enough, you may want to increase your band resistance. Mine is uh, so heavy that I cannot do a full lateral raise, just FYI. Uh, we will be coming down to our knees in a kneeling position. So you will need a mat. You're going to need a bench, grab something to hydrate with, and let's get going. We're gonna begin warming up the shoulders. Again, I cannot do a full lateral or a front raise with this type of band. So I'm going to bring it to a kneeling position. You may want to as well. Now, if this feels too easy, stand it on up to increase the challenge. So from here, grab the band with the right hand. Now, th these are gonna be partial. So I'm halfway down and then I go all the way up. We have 10 lateral raise partials on the right side. Let's go for 10, nine, control it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Both hands grab the bands, pronated grip right in front of you, 10 partial front raises for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Directly to the left, let's go for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, keep those traps down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Back to center, front raises for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bring it to the right. Final time on the right for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to front raises, roll those shoulders out. We go, final round front raises for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it to the left. Final round on the left for 10. This will conclude your warm up. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great work. That concludes your warm up. Next block, we're going to target the back the delts, and then we'll give our upper body a break with some kneeling squats. So first up, we have DeFranco pull-aparts. So we bring that band up to eye level, and then we pull it apart. All right, we're keeping the elbows up high, squeeze the rear, rear delts at the back. We go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold center, pronate a grip. We go for shoulder presses, but I want you to pull the band down on the eccentric phase. 15, let's go. One, pull it apart. Two, pull it apart. Three, pull those lat muscles down. 15 total at your own pace. Here's our last. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Last five, four, three, two, last one. Bring that band behind the head. We're gonna give your upper body a break. We have kneeling squats, so we're right here. We hinge it back, booty goes back. We bring it up, squeeze the glutes at the top, but keep a neutral low back. Do not hump the air. Here we go, for 10. Big squeeze of those glutes. Nine, eight, Seven, six, five more. Last four, three, two, and one. All right, we go for round two. Grab that band, adjust the lower body, different go pull-aparts. 
Roll the shoulders back, bring it up. We have 10, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, shoulder press with those lat pull downs. Let's go. 15 total. Pull the band apart on the way down. Keep that breath constant, core is still tight. 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, last five, four, three, two, and one. Bring that band behind the head. We have kneeling squats for 10. Big squeeze of those glutes, but keep a neutral, neutral low back. This is just really to give your upper body a break. This is our final round. We'll feel it more when we come to a standing position. Three more. Last two. And last one. All right, final round of those DeFranco pull-aparts and shoulder presses. Roll the shoulders back. Here we go. Bring it up. Shoulder level, pull it apart. 10, nine, elbows high. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Pronated grip, shoulder press. Here we go, 15. Press it up, pull it down. Press up, pull that band apart. Inhale, exhale. Find around like this and we have 10 more. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring that band behind the head. This time we're coming up on our feet, anchor the band with the feet. We're coming into good mornings, very similar to a kneeling squat. We hinge it back. We squeeze the glutes at the top, but then we're gonna add that squat. So it's one good morning to one squat. We have 15 total. Ooh, new block, let's go. Glutes and hamstrings, glutes. Hinge it from the hips, and now we're hinging from the knees. Make sure those knees are behind the second or third big toe. Knees are driving out, not in. Giving those arms a nice little break. Five more, last five. Four. Three more. Last two. And last one, grab that band, press it overhead, elbows in tight. We have 15 tricep extensions, find a grip that works for you. Let's go, elbows in tight, press it up. Try to make sure that band is equally distributed in both hands. We have 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring that band in front. Now widen the grip. One shoulder press up. We're holding this position. Now we have 10 overhead squats. The hands don't move, just the lower body for 10, nine, keep that neutral spine, belly is not dipping forward, just changing your lever, challenging yourself, five more, five, four, three, two, and one, place that band around the neck, bring it up, we start from the top, good mornings to squats, we have 10 total, let's go. I'll give you a little different view this round. Hips go back, hamstrings and glutes, you're looking down. Then we take it to that squat. Good morning. Very similar to a deadlift. Big stretch in those hamstrings and glutes on that good morning. Five more, last five. Four, three more, last two, 
last one. Now bring that band overhead, press it up. Here we go, triceps, 15. Elbows in tight, big stretch of those triceps. And then press it up. 10 more, last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring that band in front, widen your grip. Here we go, press it up, hold the hands, 10 overhead squats, we go. Keep the weight heavy in the heels. Challenge yourself. This is a little bit more challenging than a regular squat. Five more. Last five. Four. Three. Drive through those heels. Knees are driving out. Two. And one. Place that band behind the neck. We're going through this block one final time. Here we go. Good mornings. Just squats. Ten total. Final round like this. Eight more. Last eight. Seven. Six. Five more. Last four. Three. Two. And one. All right, we're hitting those triceps one final time. Bring it overhead, here we go. 15 total. Final round, and we have 10 more. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bring that band in front, widen your grip, bring it to the chest before pressing it up. Here we go, final 10 overhead squats. Let's go. Control it down. Make sure those knees are stacking over the ankle and they're not caving in. You can always decrease the range of motion, take it halfway down, halfway up. We have four more. Three. Two, last one, nice work. Bring that band right behind, lift it up. We're onto something new. Now we're gonna walk on over to our bench. We're taking this band underneath the right foot only. We'll start with the right foot. Right foot goes up. Now we're in to a lower body circuit with some more delts. So right foot grounds, this is gonna feel like a drop set. So. Right foot grounds, left foot goes onto that bench. You may want a wall to help brace yourself. So from here, adjust the right foot accordingly so your knee stays behind the toe. I prefer to keep this foot plantar flexed on the bench. Do what works for you. We have 10 Bulgarian squats before we bring it to split squats on that mat. Let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, drive through that heel, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. All right, left foot goes down, right foot forward, left foot back. We continue, split squats. Work in that same muscle group. This should feel a little easier than the last though. Still challenging. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, last one. All right, we're taking it to a B-stance deadlift. 80% in this right heel, 20 in the left toe, square off the hips. Same, same concept with those good mornings. It's a hip hinge movement. So we hinge from the hips, get a lot of tension in that right glute and right hamstring before driving it back up. 10 total, let's go. Nine, drive it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
Last one, all right. Bring that band in front, anchor it with both feet. We have upright rows for 15, giving our lower body a nice little break. Let's go rip that band apart, elbows in line with the shoulders, bring it down, that was one. 15 total at your own pace, normal tempo right now. 10 more, keep those traps out of it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we are repeating that same thing on the left. So go ahead, bring that band behind the neck. You may wanna also pat up the neck if this bothers you. Left foot goes forward, right foot goes behind. Adjust your feet accordingly. Square off those hips. Here we go, 10 Bulgarian squats, left side. Exhale to drive it up. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Both feet on the ground, left foot still forward. Split squats, let's go, 15. Work in the same muscle group, keep driving through that heel. Last 10. Eight. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right. B stance, dead lifts. 80% of the weight in the left heel, 20 in the right toes, hinge from the hips. We have 10. Drive it up. Big squeeze of that left glute. Hinge it back. You're looking down, don't lead with the head. Pull it up with the glute and hamstring. Inhale, exhale to lift. Come on, five more. Core is tight, hips are square. Here's our last three, two. Last one, nice work, bring that band. Overhead, we have those upright rows. This time I really want you to pull that band apart at the top. Here we go, 15 total, let's get it. Pull it apart right here. Rip it apart, come on, 10 more. Here's our last five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're continuing that block. We have one more each side, but we're gonna amp up that deadlift uh, once we get to it. So right foot has that band underneath of it. Right foot forward, left foot back. Adjust the position of yourself accordingly. We may have to wobble ourselves in that position. You can always use a wall to help brace. Here we go, 10 total. Final round this side, 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Both feet on that mat, right foot forward, 15 split squats. Let's get right into it. Here's our last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. All right, bring it forward. Now we're going into a single leg deadlift. You can always stay with the B stance, the previous version as a modification. All right, so here we go. Hips are square. All the weight in that right heel. Inhale, foot hovers, leg is straight. Exhale to bring it in. That was one. Nine more at your own pace. Control it. Do not speed this movement up. This will challenge your balance, your stability as well as working those hamstrings and glutes. Right leg, keep the hip square. Don't let that left hip open. Five more. Last five. Four. Three. And last one, great work. All right, 
bring that band in front. We have upright rows, pull it apart at the top, anchor with both feet. 15 total, let's go. Rip it apart at the top. Keep that breath, don't hold it. We have 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, last two, last one. All right, we have to do that one more time on the left side. Then it's on to our final block of the day, which will be even shorter. So let's get to it. Left foot has that band underneath of it. Right foot goes on the bench. Adjust your foot, wobble it on. We go 10 total Bulgarian squats. Let's do it. Drive through that heel. Core is tight to keep from tipping. Focus your gaze on something. Five more. Four, three, two, and one. Nice. Left foot forward, right foot back. Split squats. We get right into it. Fatiguing the left leg. What doesn't challenge you won't change you. Come on, 10 more. Here's our last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, shift the weight into that left heel. We're matching the other side. Single leg deadlifts or B stance if you did it. You can always use a wall to help assist. 10 total, let's go. One side is going to feel more challenging than the other. So these unilateral movements are a great way to fix muscular imbalances as well. Hip point square, take your time. Inhale down, exhale to bring it up. Lower body initiates that movement. Come on, we have five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one, nice work. All right, we have those upright rows, final round, and then we hit some chest and back, and then we're done. Here we go, 15 upright rows. Let's get to it. Pull it apart at the top. I'm dripping sweat. Come on, 10 more. What about you? Let's fight through this. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, final block. We're gonna have push ups, and then we need something to anchor this band against so we can pull and work those back muscles. So start thinking about what you're gonna wrap, or wrap this thing around. Make sure that it will not pull back on you. So make sure it's nice and sturdy, preferably anchored. So let's get down to it. We have our band like this, it's around our back. We're coming into push ups. So you can stay on your knees or you can bring it off. We have 10 total. That's it. Just once right now, let's go. 10. Eight. Six. Last five. Four. Three. Two. And last one. All right, bring it down. Okay, so we need to wrap this band around something that will not pull back on us so we can pull towards it to work the back muscles. So go ahead, do that, and we'll get going soon. Now I have my super band anchored around a very sturdy bench. Very, very sturdy, it's not gonna tip back on me. Typically, I would anchor this around a power rack or even like your uh, staircase, something that is anchored somewhere is preferred. So we're gonna be pulling. We're gonna work your back and your lats to end on. We have 15 pronated grip high rows. We pull it apart, bring it back in, squeeze the back. After that, we have lat pull downs. I'm taking it to a kneeling position. You can stand, anchor your body, get creative. We just wanna hit that muscle group. So for me, I'm gonna stay kneeling. So, band goes right at eye level. We pull it to the chest, elbows flare out. We have 15 like this, let's go. Oh. 
Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna hit a walk it back, scoot it on back. Now we have these lat pull downs. We drive it in, keep the elbow straight. If you bend it, you'll hit more of the triceps, not wrong, but we're uh, targeting the lats right here. So hinge slightly forward, here we go. We have 10 lat pull downs, let's go. Here's our last five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Here we go. High rows. 15. Let's get right into it. We have three rounds, one more push up, and then we're done. Keep ripping that band apart. I know everything's on fire. Come on. Seven more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, here we go. Lat pull down. So we go 10. Big squeeze down. Pause and squeeze. Here's your last. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, final round. High rows, 15, let's go, normal tempo. Squeeze that back. Here's our last, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, here we go, final round, lat pull downs, let's go. Exhale to bring it in. Five more. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. All right. Final thing. Then we're done. We're going back to those push ups. Just one more round. You can bring it to the knees. Do whatever you need to in order to just get it done. Maintain your good form. Maintain that mind muscle connection. Do not let those hips break. Go to the knees if we need to. Final round. Let's keep those elbows in tight to hit the triceps. Let's go, 10 total. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, we're done. Nice work, all right. That was tough. <laughs> that was fun though. Nice work. All right, again, if that band was too heavy, that's not gonna work. Let's go ahead, hug it on in. Oh, let's give the shoulders some TLC. <sighs> Release left ear down. Just sit however you want. However feels comfortable, just do it. All right, let's change it. Left arm crosses in. Right ear goes towards the right shoulder, stretching out that left trap. All right, inhale, arms reach up. Let's hinge it at the right elbow. Stretch out those triceps. Inhale back to center, let's switch sides. All right, let's stretch out those lats. So bring your hand to an incline, your bench, wherever it is. Just bring it on back. Make sure your hips are aligned over your knees or pretty close to it. And then just let that chest melt. Ooh. Feeling a nice stretch along those lats. You can always bring the hands to the mat if uh, this doesn't feel comfortable. This increased height will just increase the stretch. All right, let's bring it on up. Feet go wide. Dorsiflex at the ankles. Ooh, all right, inhale up. Exhale, turn the torso towards the right side and hinge it on down, feeling a nice stretch along the right hamstring. You may feel it along the uh, left back of the hip as well. <sighs> Inhale, arms go up, other side. All right, let's hit those glutes and hamstrings, bring it into some fire log legs, just stack it. Uh, if it doesn't, if this knee is, is hovering, that's okay. Inhale, spine long. 
and exhale, start to hinge it, feeling along the outsides of the hips. You may feel one side, you may feel both. Everyone is different. Inhale, bring it up, switch the legs. And forward on that exhale. Inhale up and exhale and do the legs. Just cactus the arms or draw the elbows slightly together to open up the chest. Inhale up and exhale, cactus those arms. Nice work today. I hope you uh, enjoyed that. That was tough. That was challenging. It was supposed to be challenging. So just enjoy the challenge, embrace it. Do what you can do, try your best, and that's all that matters. Have a wonderful rest of the day.